This is David, WA9ONY. We have a Raspberry Pi 4 connected to an RTL SDR version 3. It has been controlled by GQRX. We see that up here on the screen. This is a 10 meter band. It starts at 28 megahertz and goes to 29.7. We see down here we have a CW signal. Let's turn up the volume on the speakers. Go ahead and click on the signal. Move it over a little. We can see it down here in the audio band pass. Setting up the station to receive is a balance of several different uh, parameters. One of the most key ones is the RF gain, which is called low noise amplifier here. That gain will interact with the audio gain down here. That will also interact with the bandpass filter. So we can, let's start with a RF gain here. You can hear the signal getting stronger. We also can see that the background noise is getting stronger. Now it sounds like the background noise is getting stronger than the signal, so. I also can change the audio gain. If I increase it too much, it'll distort. There, it's distorted. Now let's go to the receiver settings. Filter is normal. The shape is normal. Gives almost a 3 kilohertz bandpass to find the CW signal. Turn off AGC. And the squelch is turned off also. Now to decrease the noise here, we can go to CW. CW upper. Now, what has happened is that the signal is out of the bandpass here, and we're going to have to nudge it back in. So, I'll do some, I'm uh, going about 100 hertz. There, we found it. Now, filter width is normal. We put that in the center there. Let's go down the narrow. Now, what's happening is that poor Raspberry Pi is being overworked. So, Let's go ahead and ask it to do less work. Filter shape, we'll go to soft. There we go. Soft filter sides means that's less sharp filter, which requires less software to create. Next step, FFT settings. They're primarily effective on how you see the display here. Default is normally 8,000 on the FFT size. Reduce it to 4,000 again reduces the amount of work that the Raspberry Pi processor has to do. 20 frames per second is the default. And again, 
we go slow, less work. Averaging, I turn averaging off. And then the rest of these settings basically um, will impact as to how you will see the display. So if you want to make it darker, You know, we can see the Morse code slightly better. We go and zoom in on it. K7FL slash beacon CN85 SS. The CN85 SS is its grid square where it's located. So it's located in the state of Washington. This is David. W901Y, 73, and QRT.